right, so we went through the shelter, we went through fire and cooking. Now let's deal with clothing, right? You should have some kind of clothing protective covering in your bug out bag. Um, just gonna go through a couple of thing, items, right? Just throw a few items up here. And there's something special I wanna show you about the way I keep my clothing in my bag. I'll give you a few variations. So, as you can see here, I do have a full, I guess, a, a set of, or an outfit, I should say, an outfit in this, it's kind of loud, I'm sorry on the mic, but it's in this vacuum sealed bag. And I keep my clothing in a vacuum sealed bag. You can see my undershirt here, socks, underwear, pants, shirt, all in this vacuum sealed bag. All the air has been pulled out because like I showed in my uh, fire starting, fire and cooking portion of this video, you know, rain or uh, a lake or a pond or you can fall into one can play a part, okay? So if you want to, you know, especially even in colder climates, it's dark, your flashlight goes out, you slip down a bed and end up in a, a river, a creek, a, a lake, a pond, now you're entirely soaked, right? <clears throat> you can get warm because, excuse me, because your fire starting has not um, been soaked. So you can start a fire, right? And you can ch change into warm clothing because your, obviously your clothing isn't soaked. So you can change into a dry clothing to warm up, all right? And you know, you can do that, start a fire real quick and get your get your your blood warmed up get your body warmed up so i keep uh, a set of clothing well you know depending depending on the size of my bag what's in there i have to, you have to prioritize okay i just just to show you if you take most of the air out you can actually fold this up into a smaller package or if you take if you take all of the air out it's not as much flexibility right because all of the air is out of this one. So you would, um, you can lay it flat in your bag. If you have a hiking type bag, it would go along the portion closest to your back, keep the continuity of your bag. And then you also have this style that can fold up, but again, it's completely vacuum sealed. You can actually use the bag to carry, you know, water in or, you know, to 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 actually you can cut it and place it over something to keep it protective you know you have you know poison ivy poison oak it does need air to breathe but you also need to make sure that all of the oils from that poison ivy is no longer is it, it able to be spread so you might want to you know wrap that you know for a short time for a short time to, as you go about so that the, the the oils in your pores don't spread or you mis or mistakenly scratch it because you're itching. So sometimes that plastic will help a little bit just to keep the oils contained. And then, you know, as you lay down or what have you, you can let it air out and, you know, let it dry out after you've applied certain applications to it. Um, but again, clothing, I keep them in a, in a, in a vacuum sealed bag. Uh, always, always have an extra pair of socks. Listen, I don't, I don't think I can stress this enough always keep a good pair of extra socks. And I have extra socks in my Ziploc bag, but just to, if, if it's just a footwear issue, not necessarily a full uh, outfit or, or articles of clothing issue, I can I just keep another spare pair of socks in my bag that I can just change that real quick. You'll need head covering. There's, I show various types of head coverings here. Some with the, that come with the neck covering as well because if you're walking in hot climates, for anybody that spend time in the outdoors, you know that sun beaming on your neck, because you can't, <laughs> you might be walking in a direction where the sun is behind you, and that thing will definitely burn your neck up. Um, now, I, you know, for those who know me, I'm usually in a trucker style hat, but depending on the size of the webbing, trust me, mosquitoes will right up in there, and 
your head will look like you have the mumps. That's just me. I don't know why mosquitoes are so drawn, drawn to me. Maybe because, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to give some lame excuse. I don't know. But also a, um, a thermal or a skull type hat um, for those colder months. So your bag will change between seasons. You'll add certain things for the winter season. Take them out for more summer. But for me personally, I kind of keep it the same across the board because I rather, you know, uh, take off layers than it'd be cold and me not have enough and I can't layer up. So even my shirts, my shirts are that are in my uh, zip, vacuum seal bags, they are long sleeve cotton shirts. And I prefer that because in the summertime, I'll just roll my sleeve up and I can, I can bear, I can deal with that. I'm not in the desert. I'm not in a desert. Yes, it gets hot here, but it's not the Sahara Desert. But even there, you can see the, 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 the natives of that area, they keep themselves covered to protect from that dry sun. Um, also a Shema, which is basically a, um, a large scarf that I'm sure you've seen many times, but it's good for face covering, head covering for your neck. You can use it to carry things. When you hold all four sides, it turns into like a, a satchel. You can just drop something down in that middle and you're carrying it like this. So it's good for that purpose as well. You can use it to dress a wound, to tie up. You can use it as a, a arm sling. You know, it really, I did that wrong, but it really serves many purposes. Kind of do it at an angle but you can have your arm in a sling if you're hurt. It really serves a multitude of purposes. I can't speak well enough about the Shema's. And, um, but that's a quick overview of clothing that you should have. And you should have head covering to help you with the sun, um, you know, and also something to cover your neck with a Shema or the hat that has the neck covering. You should have a thermal hat. You should have an extra pair of socks. You should have a change of clothing if possible. And that will help you to um, you know, get, keep one, keep, keep your cleanliness up and two, you can layer up in case it gets really cold. All right. So let's move on to the next I group of items. All right. So we went through, uh, shelter, fire cooking. We've gone through clothing. So briefly, I want to touch on lighting and with lighting also, uh, uh, what also comes along with lighting is the ability to charge as well. So kind of got a couple of uh, those two together. You know, I, I know I didn't mention it initially, but they kind of come hand in hand. So I'm just gonna show you glow sticks, which um, you can get these in bulk, very, very cheap, but in a very dark setting, they're very helpful. You, you snap them, you shake them. It can literally illuminate a good area for quite a bit of time. You know, they vary from a couple of hours to, to eight hours, depending on how cheap you wanna go with, the, with these glow sticks, but they're very compact. You keep them in a, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a small space, usually in those little slits for pens in your backpack. They usually have little pockets for your pens, but I usually stick these down in there as well and just maybe have one pen with me. Um, let me slide a bunch of stuff over here. I'm gonna make a little bit of noise but um, it's necessary. Slide a bunch of stuff over here. There's something I wanna to stress too. I want to stress that everyone's phone, every single man, woman, should have a secondary battery pack on their phone, okay? I know it's, it adds a little more bulk to it. It, it makes it even uncomfortable. It's not as light as it was when you didn't have it, that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna give you an example. I know this is mainly lighting, but I have to touch on this as well because this is a charging purpose. Having this extra battery pack, you know, right now in a calm setting, everyone is like, do you have a charger? 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 Do you have a, do you have a charger? Do you have an iPhone charger? Do you have an Android charger? Always asking for chargers, right? But if you just spend a few dollars and get this, um, the battery pack for your phone, what'll happen is in a SHTF situation, you're not looking to charge your phone to try to contact your family. 
it, you won't have to do that. That's not your immediate thought. Why? Because most of these battery pack for, for phones, these charging uh, battery, backup batteries, it'll give you an extra day worth of battery. So your first thought isn't, I gotta charge my phone to call my family, I gotta do this. As long as you charge your phone overnight as you sleep, it'll charge your phone as well as your battery pack, and you're literally good for about two days. Two days, so if six hours into your day, it's a SHTF situation, you can grab your bag, you can go, you can you know deal with contacting whoever you're gonna contact on the go, you don't have to worry about your phone. Having that battery backup on your phone, attached to your phone with a little port right there, sticks right into your phone, your phone sits into the sleeve. They have various sizes with various ampage. Um, this one is a smaller Zero Lemon, um, but you also I also have the larger one, which we've nicknamed the Brick. I'm filming with that one right now, but it's literally heavy like a brick. But guess what? Two and a half days worth of charge between my phone and that and, and the backup battery, I don't have to worry about it. So that's one thing. But I've done videos on flashlights. You should have these kind of flashlights on hand, something pocket, something heavy duty, something that's gonna give you a lot of wattage, um, 1100, 1000 watts, 1400 watts, things of that nature. And some of them, are the Olight, the Surefire, I stand by them. The Olight, only, my only complaint is it runs a little hot around the lens. It runs a little hot, but it does the job, uh, and it's and it's rechargeable. Um, so that's why I'm talking about the charging process as well. All right, here's the Kaizen solar powered um, area light and flashlight. I, I like this thing. I really do. Um, has, same thing has a charging port, USB uh, charging port, and when you turn it on, it can be a flashlight because it's handheld, about the size of a hockey puck, it's handheld. But let's say you're in an area where you wanna illuminate the area. When you do the accordion style, it now turns into a lantern, which again, by day, when you close it, the solar panel is on the back end. So you just sit this out in the sun, it charges all day, and at night you'll have your flashlight, or again, your accordion style area light, okay? So if you're cooking at night, you don't have to hold it because you can illuminate where you're preparing your meal, you're good to go, okay? I think everyone should have one to two of these in their bags uh, as necessary. Um, and you don't have to worry about, um, you don't have to worry about trying to find an outlet to plug it in. That helps the, the process. You have a SOS version on it as well. You can you know, call for help or you can just turn it off. So pretty cool item. Everyone should have a headlamp. Everyone should have a headlamp so you can walk through the dark without any worries. You know, this also is USB, can charge, but here's the kicker. One sec, let me grab my hat. Uh, here's something I didn't go over with the uh, Olight is it can actually go onto the brim of your hat and can act as a headlamp, all right? The Surefire does the same. The Surefire is a little more uncomfortable because it's a longer stem, but on that end, you can do the same with the Surefire. Turn it on and you can use it as a headlamp, all right? It's a little heavier, but again, if you don't have a headlamp, that'll work. So this is, this is covering lighting. Um, you, again, you glow sticks, you have your area um, and flash solar flashlight. You have your normal flashlight, which I did a, extensive videos on, um, the Olight and the Surefire. You have a headlamp, and you don't need all of them, but you need something, okay? You have the Olight, which is rechargeable. You have the area and flashlight, the Kaizen, which is rechargeable. You have the, um, your headlamp, which can be rechargeable or battery operated. At some point, we won't be able to get batteries, so you have to have secondary options. And, you know, uh, Ezra went in depth about this Sunjack solar panel, which is super cool. I really, really like this. You can um, use the carabiners and hook it to your backpack while you walk. And what happens is you can charge your backup battery while you walk, okay? 
This is uh, 10,000 milliamps. I believe the, the brick that I mentioned, the, the iPhone phone charger was 10,000. I believe this one, the smaller version was 6,000 milliamps. So of course it doesn't hold as much charge as the brick, but the brick is 10,000 milliamps. But again, um, it's not called the brick. It's a zero lemon for the iPhone 13. But you know, you, you're, you're, high, you're walking through the wilderness. You have your sun jack on your backpack. Um, and again, Ezra did an excellent job with the um, explanation of this. And meanwhile, in the back, your backup battery is being charged. You don't have to worry about it. It's being charged and you can actually have your phone plugged in charging as well. So it has two ports. It can do dual charging while you're out and about hiking throughout the day, trying to make your way to point from point A to point B. And it has the little net backing that's gonna hold your phone or if it's your flashlight you wanna charge simultaneously or your Kaizen uh, lamp you wanna charge simultaneously, you can, you can. And it's a good place to hold all of your cordage as well, all right? It's already set in place. Then you also have the small, um, this, is, this is from uh, For Patriots. I'm sure many of you are familiar with them. I, I can say I'm not too thrilled about this. It's, it's also 8,000 milliamps. Um, it's okay, but it's solar powered. It'll charge something, okay? So you have various uh, options here. You have, you have the Sun Jack solar panel. You have the Four Patriots small handheld. If you don't have any of these, you should at least have a Kaizen, excuse me, um, solar powered um, lantern, excuse me, lantern slash flashlight, because all three of these solar powered devices can help you out as it gets darker, okay? So that's just a quick um, overview of lighting and of course charging, and I hope that was helpful. So let's move on to the next thing, all right?